let's go. Let's try again. You got it. Okay, let's do our warm up. So, we're going to do 20 moves for 20 minutes. We're going to do some neck circles just for our warm up. Then we're going to batch them. So, we're going to do all our squats at once. Let's go the other direction with your neck. And then we're going to do all our planks, all our abs, and all of our full body workouts. So we're really going to work each muscle group all at one time. Big up and circle. Oh, yeah, stretch it out. So you're really going to feel those muscles. They're going to get nice and fatigued. That's kind of what we want. This is a definite uh, no pain, no gain situation with hip workouts. Let's go the other direction with our arms. The beauty of this is in the repair. Damage in the repair. All right, let's do some lunges. So really warm yourself up. After this one, we're going to go and bend the weight. So now we'll touch each toe, alternating hand to toe. Nice and easy bending. So nice and easy, slow movement. Just get yourself warmed up, move your body. All right, after you do your next squat, we're going to do some light twists. No cranking, just nice and easy. So as usual, we start then with the same thing. We're going to start with a regular running in place. So in about 20 seconds, you're going to start running in place. Or if you don't want to jump and run, you can just do high knees. Otherwise, we're going to really run in place, get those knees up, arms cranking. I'm going to grab my water bottle. If you want, take a quick step. Ready? Here we go. And go. All right, the knees up. Pump those arms, engage that core, pick up that core. Knees up. Beautiful. Come on for the last 10 seconds here. Let's go one faster. 10, 5. So we're going to start with simple squat. So your feet are shoulder width apart. Your toes are slightly turned out. You sit down, stand up. You just sit and stand. You are not leaning forward. It's not a squat. Here's where you want it. Sit from down. Belly in. Ready? And go. Your weight's on your heels. You can have your hands prayer out front, on your head, whatever works. Nice. Almost there. We're not going to add any modifications because we're going to do four of these in a row. So we'll feel it. We have five seconds left. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is pulsing. So pulse, pulse, and up. Pulse and up. If you want, actually, for this one, a modification is you can do little pulses the whole time or the last 10 seconds. Throw that in. For, at, for the beginning, we'll just do a little pulse, pulse it up. So remember, weights on your heels, core is engaged, take them to the ground. Ready? Go. Up. Got it. Again, keep those hands wherever you're comfortable, here at your waist or in front. <coughs> do about 20 seconds left. Now again, if we want to add that modification, after I said we weren't going to, we can start in now, in those little pulses. You got it. First in, five seconds left, hold it, feel it. Squat hold. So you're going to a little wider and a little deeper. And we're going to hold here for 35 seconds. And if you feel like it, you can just raise your toes here and there, raise your heels, stand your toes. 
I don't ever feel comfortable with you until I say do it that. Ready? And go, down you go. Okay, so we're holding here. So this is a good time to check your form. So your weight's on your heels, your toes are slightly turned out. Your back is straight, you're not forward. Sacrum's going right down to the ground, core is engaged. Feel the burn, you guys feel it? Oh, yeah. All right, if you want, lift the heels. See how that feels, just lift one at a time. If you want, go for two. The key with going for being on your toes is core engaged. If your core is engaged, you can stay there. Long time. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to give you a option. If you want to this one, I'm going to do sumo squats, which are these big, giant squats across our mat. If you want, you can do squat jumps. I'm not very good at jumping because it bothers my lower back. So for me, sumo squats. But well, you do here. Ready? And go. Big step. Make sure you exhale when you're bending at your knees. Beautiful. And if you can do it three times across, go for it, ladies. If you have the room, just take it. Keep in those big old sumo squats. Keep your form in mind. Form is engaged. Sacrum's going straight to the ground. You're not bending forward. You got 10 seconds left. If you haven't done any jumps and you want to try a jump or two, give it a try. What do you think? So our next stop, uh, we're going to do a quick running in place, get our down and out, take it out. We'll go into our next large body movement. After running in place, we'll do some planks. Ready? Five seconds. Get ready, push it out. Come on. You gotta move those arms, get those knees up. Four is engaged. Are you laughing at me when you're punching? Is that what you're thinking? You're all smiling? Or you stay in dolphin or you stay in high. 
matter. It doesn't matter. You can do one shift. You can do it every 10 seconds. Whatever works for you. And you should get ready. You're going down to Dolphin, exhale. When you're pushing up, exhale. You got this. Perfect. We have one more plank move after this. Come on, you got it. Let's Beautiful. All right, last plank move. I have an in-out plank. So you're up in high plank. Step in, step out. And find yourself in plank again for a second. Step in, step out. Plank. Step in, step out. Okay? Take that pause to get your position, your form. That's good. In. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. You can jump this too. So if you want, you jump in, you jump out. You can jump in, step out, or step out, jump in. You still jump in. All right, run in place, climb the rope. Everybody's looking so awesome. Hey, now we're going to have to climb the rope. We'll do some abs. I took side planes out, so you should be happy. Next time, ready? Climb that rope and go. Pull that rope down. Pull it down. Engage your upper core. Engage. Reach. Down. Engage. So when you crunch up and engage, you exhale. Ready? Down. Just your upper. Where you're bending. Because everybody doesn't like it now, but kind of what we're doing. It's okay for 35 seconds. You got this. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Perfect. Okay, next move, bicycles. So that's alternating elbow to a knee. So elbow to a knee. Exhale. Exhale. You got your other leg. Down to the You do whatever works for you. Ready? Just whatever you do, do it well. Make it count. 20 minutes, you can keep it your while for 20 minutes. You have so good the rest of the night. You got it, you got it. Alternate, you got it, beautiful. 10 seconds left. Five seconds, you got it. Okay, abs down movement. So we're going to do our lower abs now. So feet up again. Then we're going to engage our lower abs. Reach behind our knees. Exhale when our fingers touch. Down. You're targeting your lower abs for this one. That's where you're engaging. Ready? Legs up. Let's go. Beautiful. 
So good for your core. Mountain climbers. We're going to back to that high. We're going to bring a knee to an elbow. Now you can walk it, you can run it. But the implications you want, you exhale when that knee comes up to your elbow. Keep your shoulders over your hands. I always want to drift back. Ready? And you can just find a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Just walk the whole time, or as usual, I'll give you a 10 minute warning, 10 minute, uh -huh. 10 second warning, and you can run it. That's going to be in about three, two, one. Let's run it. Try a little bit, a little bit faster than you were going before. Take it up a notch, very slowly. Okay, we're going to stand around. It's going to work our side. So we're going to sit on these bends. Our fingers are pointing towards our heels. Raise your butt, bend your elbows, lower your butt, your triceps. Your toes can be off the ground, your waist on your heels. Your heels and your palms will push your face. Beautiful. 
Well, I'm 